Hey everybody, welcome back to Bree's Toys. My name is Stephanie Bree, and today I am unboxing Marvel Studios X-Men 97 Marvel's Rogue. So this is my most recent um, X-Men 97 pickup, and um, pretty good looking figure so far. You know, the standard packaging, it's the cardboard packaging. It looks like she's got some kind of weird green goo um, energy thing. Which I don't understand, considering what her powers are. Um, but let's uh, go ahead and open it, open it up, and see what we got. There's the green goop. There's the um, gibberish. We don't need the gibberish. And here's the action figure. So let's go ahead and get her off the cardboard. Pretty simple, just pluck her. There she is, your standard three and three quarter inch toy biz style action figure. Um, she can move her head, but her hair gets in the way over her shoulders. But let's see if she can do a full exorcist. She can kind of do a full exorcist. So yeah, there we go. She can spit some pea soup. She's got good shoulder articulation. Uh, she can bend at the elbow, but it's real stiff. Let's see, can she rotate? Yes, she can. Does she have any wrist movement? No, she doesn't, but she's got a very floppy, rubber, rubbery wrist. I don't like that. No waist articulation at all. She can kick forward, but she can't kick backwards because her butt cheeks get in the way. I don't like that. Can she bend at the knee? She does bend at the knee, but no rotate. Well, she can kind of rotate a little bit. But that's mostly... Be well, no, I guess there is a ball joint. But it's also very rubbery. Her feet are very rubbery. Um, I mean, she looks like the rogue from my childhood. You know, the uh, 90s Chris Claremont, Jim Lee X-Men. You know, so, yeah. Uh, all right. This is a passable figure. I'll, I'll put her in the collection. This is a keeper. 